manage your brethren on these small issues here. And what did he say? He says, those that do things of this sort shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Is, hasn't he judged? Hasn't he judged? Even Paul is wrong. Even Jesus is Yesu wrong. What did Jesus say? He who believes in me is not condemned. But he who doesn't believe is already condemned. So hasn't he condemned the do not spoil the gospel by just clinging to a few things. People ought to know if your head decides you're heading into perdition, we have to tell them the gospel. There is this uh, CID. Headquarter spokesperson who came out and said some claims uh, about pastors are false or they are unfound. Maybe he has a different source he was referring to. And then, and then he says we shouldn't judge. This is what he said. If someone is an adulterous a pastor is a adulterous. A pastor is a witch doctor. A pastor is a drunkard. Leave them. He's not a preacher. What is he coming in to do here? Let's look at the cases that his job and investigate the cases. We are preachers of the gospel. Let him concentrate on his work and we also concentrate on fellow pastors who are doing wrong and we should be able to correct them. If he investigated on two and the cases were not there, whatever I talk about here, those cases are there of the false prophets. They are there. And I have the files. file numbers. And I know the file numbers. He says, if he can go to his offices, he will be informed that these cases have been investigated and they do exist. This fraternity that deals with cases is very big in Uganda. Kubanga any time, any day with the truth in Jesus name. And we try to get him to come and meet him for him to stop lying to the Ugandans for him not to lie to the Ugandans okay it's not lie to them but he cannot plead for now the sin that is in church advocate for it. When the Archbishop Ntagali got issues, they would have gone to CID. The church held it, told him to repent, and made it right, without going to CID. That is right. Now, we too can make right the church. Amen. Without getting your advice. When we get to cases and we bring them to you, because they are pastors that are not pastors, and they are business is to rob people and take away money. And they really exist. 
Those ones will not tell them, come, we sit together because they will not even come. Sege, These ones are wolves. Mr. Spokesman for CID. There is what they call false prophets. False prophets. They are in the Bible and they are criminalists. That's what we were talking about. We were talking about the people who were talking we will come and elaborate to you and explain to you because when it gets to this field I am also an expert you teach me about investigation I will teach you about spirituality so but uh yeah, we will be, we'll be compelled to make a public statement if, if we need to because we need to Tosobola, where we the, have said in the pen code of Uganda, there is where they write, they, they, there is there is where I'm given an opportunity as a community leader to warn people about the evil that's happening in the community that is given unto me as a community leader and I am warning people they have iron bars men don't go there they will rob you here don't go there and you're telling me what are you saying that's an excuse I have seen the them. The man was healed. I have people here in thousands that came out. And the people had different sentences. I have them. credible stories. I think I have invented I started venting because now. This, is, this is what God has called us to Stand do. Stand on Stand your feet in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now we don't know how this is going to go. Amen. But we are going to pray a prayer and you'll be released in Jesus' name. Some of you have not given. 